We're less than two weeks away from summer workouts starting for high school teams across the area. And then we caught up with area coaches who are doing their best to adjust to the new normal. Wesley Boone has the story. Before we can get back to this, teams across the area must first tackle this. A list of guidelines from the LHSAA on how to return to practice. They want us to uh, have the kids already dressed, to not use our clothes, uh, minimum contact while they're in the locker room. The guidelines still raise questions. If you can't, um, you can't be in contact and you can't share equipment, you know, how do you practice a safe lift? Airline coach Bo Meeks foresees other issues. Water is a big thing. You know, each kid's going to have to individually bring their own bottle. If they don't have water that day, they're not going to be able to work out. The shutdown, though, has everyone starting from square one. Even these teams that, you know, are bringing back the same system, same players, you know, when they get their kids back after three months off, they're kind of starting at day one, too. But even with strict sanitation guidelines and group size restrictions, coaches are ready to get back to their players. The light at the end of the tunnel, per se, of June 8th has uh, got everybody excited, and, and uh, we, we can't wait here at Northwood. All of this with one goal in mind. The most important thing for all of us is, is the health of our, our kids, our coaches, and their families. Reporting from Shreveport, I'm Wesley Boone. Now the LHSA is investigating up to 12 teams who may have broken the rules and already started team activities. Two of those schools are rumored to be right here in North Louisiana.